Now one person died during a challenge exercise to climb Mount Kenya, drawing participants from four African countries. However, 98 youths successfully completed the exercise and were received by President Uhuru Kenyatta. The deceased suffered from a condition associated with high altitude. The participants were drawn from four countries, among them Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania and Ghana. The bubbling enthusiasm from this group of young people was palpable. Having scaled Mount Kenya through the President's Award Kenya program, they undoubtedly felt buoyant having successfully completed the program, albeit with numerous challenges. The participants started the challenge on Sunday. Through the Cinnamon route, they scaled up to Point Lenana, which is 4,985 meters above sea level, before making their way back to Old Moses Camp, where they were received by President Huru Kenyatta. The President's Award is a self-development and character-building program for young people aged between 14 and 24 years. President Uhuru Kenyatta, who is their patron, received 98 youth from four countries who participated in the challenge. President Kenyatta regretted the death of one participant who passed on during the Mount Kenya trek. Serafin Wanjirunjiroge, a student at Deden Kimathi University of Technology, passed on during the five-day trek. The Mount Kenya National Park Senior Warden Simon Gitao said Serafin, who was an active member of the Presidential Awards Club, succumbed to a condition known as high altitude pulmonary edema. But perhaps the real heroes were those who managed to successfully complete the exercise despite being physically challenged, proving indeed disability is not inability. Timothy Njero, a student at Joytown School in Thika, was joyous that he had gone up a mountain despite being on a wheelchair. The road was challenging to me because of my wheelchair. It cannot climb the steep, steep slopes and the climatic even can see in my face that I have changed from there. Florence Womboy, a student from the same school, said those with physical challenges should also have opportunities to prove that they can overcome challenges that might otherwise seem insurmountable. I don't believe disability is inability because I can make to, to, to hike this mountain if I believed I'm disabled, I couldn't make it. But because I didn't believe I'm disabled, that's why I hiked this mountain. And I'm a, I, I know in myself that I can make it and I am a winner. We have seven students. I came with only seven students from the physically challenged uh, group. And they have really done very well. I'm proud of them. They have really done a nice presentation. And I'm hoping that other groups that or other parents and the society as a whole, they're going to bring up their children who are disabled and take them to school. They are not disabled, they are only challenged. President Uru Kenyatta lauded them for their courage. Don't let anybody put you down. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. It is for you to tell them you can and you shall. The president, who was accompanied by Environment Cabinet Secretary Judy Wakungu and other stakeholders, urged the youth to make full use of the opportunities accorded to them, saying that he had faith in the youth who had it in them to transform their countries. And how you can actually bring this continent together, integrate this continent as the surest way of achieving our individual and collective social economic objectives. The participants who are from Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania and Ghana were presented with gold award certificates and medals. Carol Derry, KT News, Simon Timau, Meru County.